Hey, hey, kiddos, it's Tango with Sue here. I'm so excited you're back for another episode of Crazy Craft Kits. Yay! All right, so did you get one of these recently? Crazy Craft Kit Paint Pour Ornaments. Now, putting this out for the holidays, but you can use this all the time because there's so much stuff in here. You can use it on a million other things and I'm gonna show you how. But first, here we go. I wanna show you what we're gonna do today. We are gonna make, we're gonna make this, okay? Because you can, because it's all right inside here. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that gorgeous? Now, let's talk about paint pours for a second. They are all the rage, aren't they? Now, some of you are like, what's a paint pour? And some of you are like, I am so over the paint pour. Look, it's a medium. It's a means to an end. It is about swirling colors and seeing magical things happen when you blend colors together. That will never go out of style. It's just how you use it, okay? Yeah, if you're just gonna dump it out on a canvas and go, ta-da, sure, okay, it might run its course. But what I'm about is taking all these cool techniques that we figured out, paint pouring and decoupage and blending and then taking them to the next level. How can we use it? What else can we put it on? Can we do a blender? Can we do an ornament? Can we do some dinosaurs? I mean, the possibilities are endless, my friends. So everything you need is in this kit because I know a lot of you have been like, I want to do it, but I don't know if I'll get the ratio right, and will I put enough water, and will I put enough this or that? Mm-mm, 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 mm I got it. I got you. I did it for you, okay? So let's open this up and see what we got. It's a bakery box, so it's just like opening up a pretty little cake, isn't it? Yay! Okay, so... There we go. So each kit, each kit, kiddos, contains a few different colors. We're going to open this up. How pretty that is. I mean, come on. All right, so this kit, oh, this is perfect. This comes with the exact demo I was going to do today. This kit comes with a metallic. So each kit comes with either a metallic or a base coat and then two colors. And you might be thinking, well, Sue, what if I want more than two colors? Well, that's the beauty of blending. What do purple and blue make? Yeah, you got it. Purple. And uh, you'll see all the different swirls of colors. And then we have this awesome paper mache star, okay? Hey, year round, stars are awesome. And then I've also put in for you a couple of little ornaments. Oh, there you go, some balls. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's early. Okay, also you will find a couple little Dixie cups, little mini pour cups, and some toothpicks. We're going to get to that in a second. And very importantly, your gloves. You're going to need your gloves for this one because it's going to get messy. Now, let's move this aside and talk about what else you are going to need, which is very little. But I suggest that you put down some kind of surface. This is waxed cardboard, okay? You can put down a silicone mat. You can put down wax paper. Why do I want you to put down something with a shiny surface? Because we're going to have overpour, okay, of all of the drippings. It's kind of like, think about like um, Thanksgiving with turkey drippings. Do you get rid of the turkey drippings? No, you use them to make the most amazing gravy ever. So we're gonna use the drippings from all of this in different ways. You can make jewelry out of it. You can make skins out of it. You can use it in mixed media. So work on a surface here, all right, that's nice and slick. Now, here's the other thing I'm also gonna tell you to add that's not in your kit. Any kind of jar or glass, just anything you can find in the recycle bin, so we can pop this up on here like that. Okay, we just need something to lift this up so it can fall over. So we're gonna start with the star today. But first, let's talk about how to prepare our cups. All right, so we'll move that to the side. 
as you pull out each color, what I want you to do is put your finger on the top and shake, shake, shake. Everything's pre-mixed for you, okay? The paint is in here and your pour mixture is in here. What makes it make all the little cells and flow together instead of just becoming one color, all right? So we're gonna shake that up. So today I'm using a metallic red, a purple, and a gold. Woo, woo, woo. So here's where the magic happens. We're gonna take our Dixie cup. We're gonna pick our base color. So I'm gonna go with this metallic gold. I'm gonna put a lot in there. This is gonna be the last color that goes on top, but it's also the first color I'm gonna put down on the piece. You'll see. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of my metallic red. I'm just gonna swirl it in there. You can do whatever you want. You can kind of go down the side. Whoops, that one needed shaking. You can go down the side. You can put a lot or a little. It's totally up to you. You can mix these colors up. But basically what I want you to do is get to the point where your cup is at least halfway full, okay? Just keep layering. You can squirt it in. Keep shaking up your paint as you go. And these are gonna mix on their own. So you don't need to do too much. We're just gonna let them kind of blend in with each other right now, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna set that aside for a second. Actually, no, I'm gonna add just a couple more. Better to have too much than too little. You can always save it, put it away, and use it on your next project. Well, as long as it's this day. There you go, so we've got that filled up really nicely. All right, I'm gonna set that aside. We're gonna put our gloves on now. <laughs> My hands are already purple. And now what sometimes people do to get a really bright color is they'll put a white gesso over the top. You can do that. You can paint this white if you want to absolutely make sure that your colors really pop. But I made this kit in such a way that you have enough paint where you don't really need to do that as your first step. But what I would do is just take one of your colors, either your metallic or your base coat, your black, your white, or your metallic. And what I want to do is I just want to get a base coat on our piece. I'm just kind of putting it all over. And it's okay that it's running off. We just want to get that covered, okay? And now I'm just gonna use my finger to kind of make sure that that's everywhere. You could use a paintbrush. You could be a grown up and use a paintbrush, but I'm just gonna use my fingers here and make sure that we've got everything there. Now, I'm not worrying about the back right now. This is a two-part process. And of course, we have a jackhammer going on outside the door. Okay. There we go. So we've got that on there. And now this, our mixture, mixing up really nice see it's just starting to just kind of hang out the colors are starting to blend together perfect so now that we have our base coat on there we can start to play now some of you have seen the flip cup which won't work quite that well on this most of it will fall off so what I like to do is just the ribbon effect so I'm just gonna go up and down the edges until I get the whole thing covered are you ready Let's go. So start from the top and just let it flow down. And see, we're catching everything at the bottom. All right. And now when you're working with something like this, you could even just leave it like that and let your metallic show through. Or you can break the surface tension a little bit kind of use your finger to push it along the edges. That's what I like to do. Just push it along a little bit. Because if you just dab it with your finger, you're not gonna mush it. You're just gonna get it swirling. There we go. I'm starting to see some cells in there. Cells, yay! 
Okay, and now I'm gonna go through and kind of hit those edges again, just a little bit more. It's really as much or as little as you want, you guys. Just have fun. You can even pick it up at this point. Move your jar out of the way here and swirl it around. If you feel like you wanna break up some clumps of color, just use your finger. Break them up. You see how it's starting to sell for you? Now, at this point, if you have a blowtorch, you can use it, but it is not necessary by any stretch of the imagination. It's gonna do its magic for you. I already put this together for you, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this aside, okay, and just let it dry. And now, step two. All right, what a beautiful mess, huh? Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do the round ornament now, and I'm gonna show you the trick I've created for you. Each ornament has these little holes that I've pre-drilled for you and some toothpicks to stick right in, okay? This is gonna allow you to create a little rotisserie. Isn't that cute? Let's take the tag off that one. This is gonna allow you to create a little ornament rotisserie. Look at that. So that you can twirl it and get all the colors you want. Now, some of you have gotten a kit with white in it. So I'm gonna do this next one with adding a little white so you can kind of see the difference between using a white and using a metallic. So what I'm gonna do first, now some of you may have gotten your full kit, okay? And if you still wanna add white just as your base layer, you can do that. You can use an acrylic, uh, you can use gesso, anything, or some of you have a kit with white in it. So all I want you to do is just kind of get your base coat on here. Just zigzag it down, okay? Slosh it around because this does two things. One, it's creating kind of a slip coat so that all your colors swirl really easily. It breaks all the surface tension. It's also gonna make it really bright because we're covering up that dark brown. So it really just depends on what style you want. All right, so there we go, we've got that on there. Now, we've got our little cups where we've been mixing. So this time what I wanna do is add a little white in here. Okay, that's a pretty good consistency. And then I'm gonna not do the metallic. Instead, I'm just gonna do the red and the purple. And I'm just squirting it in. So I'm just layering it as much as I want or as little as I want. I'm just getting different layers of colors in here. Now, if you have time, it's often good to just let this sit for a second. let these colors really mush together. And like I said, if any of them seem like they're too thick, just add a little bit of water and shake it up. That feels pretty good. So I'm gonna let that sit for just a second. Let it kind of, you know, do its thing. Do its thing, do its thing. Ta-da, okay. Ready? So now we're gonna ribbon just like we did before. And go, oh yeah, actually look at that, it twirls on its own. <laughs> that is so cool. I'm so easily pleased. All right, so there we go. Look how beautiful that is. See all those cells we're getting? So now what I want you to do is just twirl it around so you get all the coverage. And if you feel like it's not covering everywhere, again, you can just use your finger just a little bit. Break that surface tension up. If you're impatient like me, see, you don't need to even 
use a blowtorch of any kind. So now that this whole thing is covered, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Grab a hold of your string, take out your, easier said than done, I think I've twisted myself in here, there we go. Take out your toothpick, there we go. All right, now, what if you're like, Sue, I like it just like that. I don't want it to keep dripping. All right, so this is where I would tell you, sorry, it won't stay in focus because <laughs> it's swirling around. This is where I would tell you to use your blow dryer. Okay, just get a blow dryer right now and kind of set it. Just kind of heat dry it real quick. Or just get an S hook and hang it up anywhere you want. So what I've done is I've just set up a bar. I'll show you. I've put some S hooks and I'm letting everything just drip down onto this. You could put um, a little frame and put an S hook on it. Uh, anything around the house that you can just stick an S hook on so this can dry. You've got this. You're clever. You're creative. You can do it. Or if you're outside, hang it on a tree branch. <laughs> Honestly, I've done it. All right, let's take a look here. All right, now that we've finished all of these, if you don't have anything else to cover, what I would say is just pour this out right on your mat. Spread it out maybe. Just have some fun with it. You want it to get kind of thin. There we go. All right, and then you can let this whole thing dry and then have so much fun with the skin you made. The other option is just to take this, take whatever's in here, and if you have a canvas lying around, pour it right on the canvas. I mean, you can do a whole paint pour out of this when you're all done. But look at that, it's all selling up and making all these beautiful colors. So there's just so much you can do in so many ways. You don't have to create any waste. You can use all of this. You know what, if you bought my tile kit, you know that you can just take a tile Actually, here, I'll grab one right now. There you go. A lot of times when I'm doing this project, I'll put tiles underneath to catch the overflow if I don't need another skin, because look at that. We can put that right on there. All of our leftovers, I've already taken off my gloves, so there we go. Scoop it around. Put it on the outside there, and then look at this. Right, no waste, no waste. Look how pretty that is. We got this. So, no need to discard of any of this. It can all be used to make a different kind of art. So, not only in this kit do you get the ornaments, the star, enough to make a skin, but hey, grab some tiles, <laughs> grab anything, grab that, <laughs> grab that dinosaur. <laughs> oh, wow, this one's really pretty. Hold on, let's just hold this for a second and let it, let it fall. Oh my gorgeous, God. just gorgeous. See, it's not just leftovers anymore. Set that down to dry. Ta-da. All right, kids, was that fun or what? So let me show you what we ended up with here. I've just got these hanging from this bar. I think they turned out really cool. Now they do have like this little bump right on the bottom. I would say take your paper towel or your gloves as it's drying and just break the surface tension a little bit so you don't end up with, um, well, nipple balls. <laughs> Although they could make really great presents. Oh my God, a whole new marketing scheme. So I've just got these hanging up. Like if you have a little tree that you hang your ornaments on, um, use it to dry your ornaments right now and then they'll be ready. They'll be ready overnight. This one turned out really good. Lots of different swirls in there. That one was without the white. 
And then I did another one because I couldn't stop. Look at that. All different colors going on. So it's almost like a marbled ornament. And I think that when they're on your tree or you give them to a gift, they'll look like little glass balls, right? Except they're not breakable. The cat can bat. The dog can knock over the tree. The little baby can go and swat at the branches and it won't break. Okay, so that's what I think is so awesome about this. All right, let's look at our star. I think it's so pretty. Okay, so there we go. It's already kind of set in place. It's not gonna keep dripping anymore so I can move it around. So here's what you're gonna do next. Once this dries, see, that's kind of messy. Take off the tag. Once this is fully dry, just put some masking tape or some blue tape, some painter's tape along the side that's dry, flip it over and do it again. Or just wipe it down and paint the back. You know, you don't have to have it on both sides. I love it on both sides. You can do whatever you want. So you can tape this side when it's all dry, do the same thing again and have two different colors, two different pores, possibilities are endless or if you want to right now while it's still wet just wipe it down so that you can just put on a base color and then maybe you'll want to sign it right or you could write a little note oh my gosh yes you could wipe you could kind of wipe this off right or before we even started you could have taped it but it seems like a lot of work it just seems like a lot of work anyway so you can paint the whole thing and then sign it with love and it'll last now um, do you need to do anything else to help these stay forever? Not really. I mean, it's acrylic paint. Um, if you are worried about it, you can use a little bit of any kind of spray sealer. You can do a high gloss. You can do, I wouldn't do a matte. You've just made them all shiny. Um, any kind of Krylon spray sealer you can put on these babies. Um, but they're really fine the way they are. So I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Look, we even made our... We even made our tile that's looking pretty gorgeous. Get on up here, buddy. Okay, so I really hope you guys are having fun with this kit. I hope um, hope you got a little bit messy, but not too much. You got to have fun with the way the colors flow together, with the way the cells are made, with uh, just the combination of texture and color. And I hope that you want to do it again. So please uh, follow my YouTube channel. I'm going to be posting all kinds of videos on different things we can do. I really do want to try to pour this guy and see. Do you think he'd like it? No, please don't paint for me. Okay, if you do it, make me purple. Sparkly purple. Um, possibilities are endless. So again, I just want to say there's no such thing as a medium that's a fad. Okay, it might go away, it might come back, but if you can take it and reinvent it in a way that's you and incorporate it into your art and into your creativity, do what you love and have fun with it. And I hope that you've got started today on something really fun that you will continue to do and to continue to explore. Let me see how yours worked out, okay guys? All right, signing off, Tanglewood Sue, your crazy A craft coach.